Myriam Pl Plétinx, pardon, Plétinx, elle va, me dire, elle va dire mieux mon, le nom que moi, pour Mie. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. En français En oh anglais. Oh anyway. So sorry about the, the pronunciation. It's, It's uh, Miriam Plettings. Okay. Uh, so, coming from the cask in yes. Belgium. Mm -hmm. So, sorry again, but you have to really talk okay. into the like mic this? like that. Yeah, so everybody can understand you. Uh, your film, is it um, a critic on the internet or really a critic of somebody living a life through the internet? Yes, it's more a critic um, on, on the person. I mean, um, or maybe a critique because I, I don't, uh, I, I don't dislike. It's it's about the social media, especially Facebook, and I don't dislike the medium, but it's it, it, she has a way of handling it, uh, handling the internet, handling like um, uh, seeing others through it, and and not being able to show herself or you know. So it's more uh, about the person, not the not the. So you think the tool is only a tool, and it's only the person who uses. The tool and it depends on how you and we use it. Yes, yes. I mean, it has the internet. It's a wonderful thing and it has a, a lot of advantages. But um, like with Facebook, there's this. It's it's a, a platform to where you can show yourself and model yourself like you want to be seen, like the, the most perfect version of yourself, like only the the cool pictures and the nice pictures. And but that's that has as a disadvantage that. Um, that when everyone shows only his best, is his or hers uh, best side, that you can compare it to your own life and it doesn't seem so glamorous and, and yeah, so, yeah. We don't have the same friends because some of mine don't show only the good side. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the, the black and white? It seems like a, almost like a comic book. You love illustration and... Uh... Yes, I, um, I love, for example, Chris Ware. Um, it's it's not he he doesn't always work in black and white but uh, he's a big inspiration and um, yeah the black and white just I didn't think it it was necessary the the colors yeah. one of the big things is there is almost no music and, yeah. and it really creates the boredom you know of this woman uh -huh. of of a life uh, how do you mean the, the, the music there is almost no music mm -hmm. in the film and it create this world, I mean, that is yes. really, she's bored all the time and mm -hmm. watching, and if there was some music, maybe, you know, we could feel there is a little light, but without music, only no. the sound of the city is No, quite she's <laughs> alone in the room, so, yeah, no music, except in the, in the kitchen ones, but that's, uh, yeah, no, I thought that was important to, the silence to kind of um, show her loneliness even more, or, uh, I don't know the word, Isolement, uh, she's isolated, so yeah. Um, what about so the the school cask, mm -hmm. Belgium? Is it in how many years? Uh, I just did my masters there, so the bachelor was at, uh, at another school, um, and then I did three years, which was ab uh, about uh, for the masters, which is very long, but that's because I I worked in between, and so yeah, it took a long time. Is it your first film there, or no? Did you do exercises and? Uh, um, it's the, the, the only one there. Yes. Only yeah. one. Uh, there is a lot of things going on in Belgium for animation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of studios and everything. Do you plan to go more into short film or commercial? Because you have a style. It's four minutes. It's yeah. a really precise style and uh, short. And mm -hmm. you, you could make you know strong commercial or something like that. Do you have already something in mind? Uh, no, actually, at the moment I work at a stop motion studio. So I, I now I'm um, working on a series this year, uh, and it's puppet animation. So it's uh, another version. But I I'd like to work on some more of my own projects. I don't know about commercials, maybe. But yeah, for for now it's just uh, the TV series at the studio. And would you like to go to il uh, into illustration also? Yes, I do that like yeah. as a part time thing sometimes. Yes. And it's always about. Kind of a criticism like that of uh, people or something no, like that? Always. No, not always. Mostly it's commissioned, so it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, for the storyboard and, and, and the, the length of the film, it could have been much more or less. It's yes. obvious, but how did you manage to, you know, do the rhythm of the, of the film? Um, a lot of storyboarding, a lot of animatics. Yes, I had, 
what I did with the storyboards, I um, I, I never had one story, so I just draw images that I that came to mind, and I had I have this magnetic wall in my office, and I, I cut them out so I could move them around. So it was it, it grew very organically, and yeah, the rhythm I never really thought of it. It was just by feeling. Yeah. Do you have teachers in uh, in Cask who help you and uh, for the rhythm? Yes, and everything? my teachers thought it had to be way longer, so it had even longer. But I. I I think it's long enough. <laughs> and again, I, I'm just asking again about the length because how do you know? I mean, it's really instinct and you said one point, okay, that's how it has to be done and no, not another scene, not one scene less or one, mm -hmm. scene, one scene more. It's like that. Yes, it's, it's just by... I never thought of it. It's you don't have any, I don't know, influences ideas. or something like that from old students at CASC mm -hmm. or... Maybe unconsciously, but I I can't think of any. I know it's just, yeah, out of feeling. I don't know. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. -bye.